Hello, my name is Resurgent. Welcome to The Mysterious Door, a short horror game brought to you by Max Horror from itch.io. Go check him out. So, without further ado, let's get right into this. It might seem a little loud at first for the, for the music, but I found out that this particular part... I heard about this older couple that had found a secret ancient door hidden in the house where they live. I instantly knew that there was a potential to profit from this, and I made a deal with them just to keep this a secret between the three of us, just to explore what riches could be found behind that mysterious door. Only problem was that door could not be opened. The old couple tried everything, just kept failing. Yeah, but what did I you try? That I kept close contact with the older couple as they tried different means to open that door. But there was no luck in the first few weeks, though they did mention getting closer to a solution. Then suddenly, for whatever reason, I lost all contact with them started to worry that they actually did get that damn door open. They just wanted to cut me out of the deal. Now I've decided to go and visit the house just to see for myself. You sound like a money shark of some sorts. That the only thing that you're keeping for them is the secret of this door. Because what is the significance of this door? Like, is there ancient artifacts that would be seized by the government or whatever? I don't understand. So what did you contribute, my dude? Because it sounds like if they were doing all the work and you were doing nothing, no wonder they wanted to cut you out. Der Fuss. Ippeldom. The house. It's a creepy house. Why they're, why they're using candles is beyond me. That seems like a fire hazard. Hmm. Seems really windy out. Oh! What? What, what, what? What, what? That was startled. Startling. So my left right is a little bit not sensitive. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um. Paused. Graphic setting. What I need is... Restart current... Ooh. What I need is, like, sensitivity, because my sensitivity is a little bit low. <laughs> Control to couch, after flashlight, shift to run. Why do I need to run? Shift for- <laughs> <laughs> Max Horror. <laughs> you turd. I don't have a flashlight. No! <laughs> I'm so scared. A game made by Max Horror. We have a number of others that are still at the scene, but we've completed those tentative identifications That's pretty to the cool. families and notified them that based on So like F is supposed to be flash. Okay, C is crouch, so is that. Uh, okay, Q is a pause. The family members of F. Two of the victims have uh, hmm. been removed. Is there supposed to be a flashlight in here? Because I don't we have, have a number one. of others that are still at the scene. Not yet. Completed those. Bedroom. There's things. That little detail right there of it coming out when you're trying to get into it is something else. Come here! Hey, I have questions. I'm here to talk to you about your extended warranty. Oh. Maybe not. Um, is there anything that I could- nope. I thought that there would be a flashlight in here. Is that a dude? I don't know if there was. Picture. Can I- can I take that? How about that? I can't remember what the controls were. I guess I could go back and see and get yelled at in my earballs again. Uh. Yeah, F for flashlight and uh, I don't have no flashlight. I wonder if they'll get tired if I do that. <laughs> That'd be a wonderful little easter egg. That's not creepy at all. Shut that. There's a dude, there's a little kid running around. 
It is a little bit loud, but the alternative is it being too quiet. So I'll try to, I'll try to do some audio editing with the Vinci. Man, nothing is open. I don't like that. What is wrong with this house? Like they purchased this old house, but are they doing renovations on it? I'd like to know the history. No, there's nothing there. Yes. Can I do that? No. Well, well that was loud in my earballs. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Hmm. So I should try to find a way to get in there, I guess. We have a number of others that are still at the scene, but we've completed Can I those. Jump? No. Tentative identifications to the families and notified them that based on Is there a flashlight up here? Man, I really need some stuff. I don't quite know what to do. Family members of hmm. What if I tried to go back in here again? Is this gonna play again? No, it isn't. Oh, this is good. Oh, oh! There's something wrong with that person. Wasn't there a mirror here? Oh my, I stepped in that? Ugh. Oh. Hello? Hello? And where'd the TV go? Interesting. All right. Yeah, the slow back and forth is gonna get to me a little bit, but we'll deal with it. Hello? Oh. Ugh. Not me! Just crawled right- in. oh man. This person has seen better days. Looks like one of the- one of the- either a tenant or a visitor. That's fantastic artwork. What are we doing here? Look around. There's a skull? A skull in a safe? The dead tell no tales. Maybe if I move my mouse around. Hold up. Okay. So I've moved my mouse a bit. The atmosphere, the. the... Yeah, the sound atmosphere, and if you just stay still, that subtle movement that adds a lot to this game. I enjoy this. Some demonic children. Because, you know, why not? Hello? Ain't no doors open. Can I interact with this dude? Still cannot. Is there like no flash? Where do I find a flashlight here? Some stuff went- I do not like these. I don't like the look of that. I don't like the sound of that either. You know, there comes a... What was that? What was that? What happened to my mouse there? So sometimes it tugs your, your vision. Which is a little startling. That's okay. Alright, we're gonna go back and see if we can't find something to open. Something tells me we're gonna go back and forth and back and forth until we get through. This house is going to suck us in! I don't want to get yelled at again. That deters me from going back. Is that like a... I thought I'd seen a shiny thing like a key. But it's not. Hello? It's still not open. What if we have to go in the bathroom again? I'm gonna step in that poo. And no monsters will want to get me because I will smell horrendous. So something made a noise over here and I don't know what. What if I did this? 
Oh, what if this is a hiding mecha- Oh my god, no way. Why? I better leave that open in case that is exactly what that's for. Hello? No other thing. Oh, there we go. That only took freaking forever. Stupid. Shush. Don't judge me. Alright. Now that we got a key, maybe we could get into the bedroom. That only took a small eternity. Because I was a little naive and thinking, just moving way too fast. In games like these, you gotta take your time. <laughs> Going into Aurorville. Better leave that open just in case. Ah, uh, here I am. Hello! I still haven't found a flashlight. I'm like interacting with absolutely everything. Beautiful. I didn't check out the stairs, but I'm invested in this side now, so. Hello? These are some really darkly esoteric. Darkly esoteric. Can't interact with that door. That was a little loud. No, nothing in there. I don't think. No, nah, there's nothing glowing in there. I don't know what's walking around, but it doesn't sound amazing. Sounds like it's coming from there, and I'm going to vacate the place and leave it alone. Hello? How are you? Oh, come on, dude. I'm just trying to talk. There's a picture of a bed on this key. For bedroom, you know? Ooh. Squee! You know, the atmosphere is on par for this. I like this. Bedroom. Watch, I'm gonna die. Can I save? I cannot save. Okay. I feel like I should be saving. But something tells me I'm never gonna be able to. And if I perish, I perish. Need something to cut this board. How about just remove, you know, like, kick it. Kick it out of the way. I don't know. That means I need a saw. So we need to go find a saw. We see saw and saw see. Let's see. I don't know what's going on. There's nothing there. Still nothing here. Gotta have a card. And I do not have a card yet. Can't really see any. I still haven't found a question. Mm, hey, do you have a saw, my good sir? Hey. I, I need help. Dude just wants to look at me. He want he just wants to leer at me and not help me. He's something else. We're gonna go check. We're gonna go check back over here, see if I have something to open that wardrobe with. I didn't find anything on this side of the house, but maybe on this side of the house we will. Maybe I could use a spear. No? Cannot use the spear. Can't use that. Can't use. It is a little bit dark. 
and I may just be missing whatever it is that I need to be using to cut that with. You know, sometimes I'm not the sharpest crayon in the box. So I now have a crowbar, and that took way too long because I didn't really notice it. I really need to slow down and actually look at stuff like this, you know? Hmm. I wonder if I need to... What do I need to pry open, then? Let's try the door? Nope. How about the lock? Ah! Yeah, we could get the lock. I feel like we could have slid through, though. You know? Oh. That's who's... There's a horse head in there. You poor thing. Well, you know. There's a creepy VHS thing there. Oh, I can see things now. This is great. I like this. That took entirely too long. Somebody's been having... Oh, hello, gluttony. Dang. Somebody's been having a party. Party. I had to hide the key card for the door. Something is loose. Something is here after we open the door. We did close it back up, but I'm afraid it's too late. Oh no, look at all the meat. Those are like, those are hams. Seems the cutting board has been used to cut up birds. Those are big bird honks. It looks like there's legs of, of delicious charcuterie. Oh, piggies. The piggies. Capicolo. That's how you, that's a oh. You know, these paintings, I feel like they're AI generated in some way, shape, or form. But aside from that, they are a little unsubtle. They are unsubtle. But the in here. Another hidey hole. I don't like that there's so many hidey holes. There's two hidey holes now, so we're gonna leave that open. Just in case I need it. And I'll bet that opens up here. Okay. I turned it off before I could get it- oh no. Before I could get a good look at what was playing. Skull? This skull? Alright. Was I supposed to have got- oh, I need something to cut with. So there should be something in that kitchen. Pass through it too fast again. Grab. Is there a knife here? Maybe some of that cable? That cable could saw through, you know? <laughs> Legos. Lego, my Legos! Ah! Give me that. I don't need. What do you mean you don't need it right now? I need it to cut the tea. Alright. Well, I need a saw, that's for sure. Let's go back to that and see what's changed. Now that there's things moving around and on the loose. Hmm. Time to die! Because everybody loves dying. Ah! Hmm. This bird has something stuck in it. Maybe I can open it up somehow. You mean with that knife that I tried to use? Need something to cut this bird open with. <laughs> Alright, we got the key cord now. Cord. Card. We got the key card. Key card. Let's see what's in here. Open. 
Oh, well. This. That almost hit me in the head. That would have sucked. Mm, Moloch? Whenever I see bull's heads, I think of Moloch. I'm going to take that because I need it. Finally, we figured out what offerings to use to get the door open. In case we forget, I put pictures down of what is needed and where. Pictures. So you need a pig's head and a horse head. Okay, so that's what the bloody things are for. What else is over here? I imagine that there will be people. This is interesting. This is interesting. I like this. It took a little bit because I'm a dense person, but, you know, it's not exactly obvious. And I, act I actually like that. It makes you think. It makes you... It makes you look around. No. Okay, so that's... Hmm. Well, if I die, I die. No! You can't get me. Oh my god. Nope. Okay. Alright. So I can get the pig's head. I'm gonna wait for dude to go by though. I think he makes a loot. Pig head. I'm hiding here with my pig head. What if I could get the horse head too, and then I'll have a horse head in one hand and a pig head in another? just in case I need it. Alright, I got the pig head in. Because it can't get me if I'm here, which is nice. There's the piggle head. Now I need to get into... Now that I got the saw... Where the hell is this guy? over there. Okay. We're gonna run for it. Run for it. Oh, well, there's that dude. see if they actually come by. I don't know how close that thing was behind me or if it could get through the get through the thing, if you know what I mean. Oh god, there's two of them now. He's like daddy. Daddy, me too. coming back around or he's going into the he's going into the bedroom I wonder if he's gonna crawl I'm gonna wait to see if he crawls through because he might have a shorter loop than the other big guy It just follows dude around.
Oh no! Nope, that was a bad idea. You can't get me in here, I don't think, if you haven't seen me. <laughs> Sure are taking their sweet time. We got the offerings. Now let's see what happens. Oh boy. This looks dangerous. Oh. Can I take that? No. I'm just stuck with my weak flashlight. I am going literally into the darkness with a very weak flashlight. The cave. Ooh, so you got multiple sections. This is really cool. Something tells me I'm going to have to avoid some enemies or enemies. These caves have been a great find. We, f we found the old remains of a house and a church, both in great condition. We have lost the key for the door in the house, so we need the crowbar to get in there. Last I saw the crowbar was near the old well. I can't help feeling I'm being watched by something. Maybe something related to the ritual or sacrifice that have been done in the church. Need to investigate more. Why is it always churches, man? Why is it always churches? Okay. Yeah, with those noises, it doesn't uh, it doesn't surprise me that things are watching. Oh no! Run! Gotta run! Gotta run! Gotta run! Hide in an outhouse. That's what I need to do. Is hide in an outhouse? So some of them are pretty- Oh man. I'm gonna hide in here. I don't know how close it is. At least it's got a little moon, you know? Oh, there's a cross. Is it down here? I don't know where the thing went. I am gonna try and... Sounds like he might be a little close. No! Oh, oh, no, no, no! Nope! No! Nope! Cut the corners! Cut the corners! Gotta get to the outhouse! Gotta get to the outhouse! You can't get me in the outhouse. <laughs> Man, I felt like he was going to Jurassic Park my butt. He still might. I don't know what that thing is, but it's not something that I really want to mess with. All right, let's get in here. Hopefully he can't get me in here. There's a key. There have been performed some sort of ritual in the church. It seems that the ritual somehow ended the small community here. We don't know if the people who performed the ritual got trapped inside the church, or even worse, 
the ritual summons some evil presence. I think it was a ladder. I mean, I just have a hunch, but I think it was a ladder. Remains of the people from the church are scattered around inside the church. Something bad ha You don't say. We can't help feel there's something lurking in the dark down here. Ooh-wee. Well, you know. Well, this place has been utterly caved in. There could be some significant artifacts in here. Going through that center area. Well, if I need to, I'll just... Nope. Nope. Alright, what does this say? Use the lever in the church to open the gate. Remember, it's time, so leave before it closes that hall. Use the lever in the church. Oh. Okay, so I think it's coming around. I don't know if it can get me out here. Well, since it's over there, I think I'm going to go here. Go this way, because I think it loops around steadily. Wait, where is it? I don't know where it is. Sounds really close. It's like right there. Well, that keeps you on your toes, that's for sure. All right, so where's the lever? Oh, is that it? Okay, so it's walking around. There's the, there's the church. Close that behind us. Blur. Yeah, some things have definitely gone down. Some occult things that folks probably shouldn't have gotten into. And then they summon something thinking, we're going to be saved. And no, 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 no. So once, I don't know where the dude is. I'm a little concerned because I'm going to need to blitz past him in order to get out, get into that one gate. I think I'm going to take my chances. Oh no, he's like right there. Triangles, man. They're always triangles. I wonder how generous the timing is. might just be one of them scenes where you have to run. Yeah. All right, let's hope that we make it. <laughs> Yay, we made it. Wow. Well, Tell you what, the tension buildup, if you're not entirely sure and you want to play it safe, the tension buildup is palatable. But otherwise, it's just complete going. Oh no. Oh no! I'm a die! I'm a die! Oh, I die! Well, that was what was behind the door.
Did I get it? I got it. Yep, I got it. The end. Thanks for playing. All your support goes towards developing more and better games. Special thanks to Hazel Basil for voicing the intro. Yeah, the voice acting was really good. I like that. And thanks to all the YouTubers sharing my game. I would be nothing without you guys. Aw. I like this game. I like this game. This this had some do that. Yeah, so this game had quite the atmosphere, if I may say so. I'm gonna turn this down for my own earbuds. But this game did have a palatable uh, atmosphere. I really like the execution. The graphics are gorgeous. I would love to see a larger game. I do like that things aren't like so readily obvious. For some folks, they'll be able to see it right away. But if you're looking at the and listening to the entire game as a whole, uh, you, you kind of get lost in those details, which happened to me a couple times. Like I said in the game, I'm not the sharpest crayon in the box, if you get what I mean. So, sometimes, not so much. Other times, very much so. It, it The flashlight not being gotten until the latter, latter part of the game, that was nice. You don't just start off with it. It would be interesting with this door if there is something more going on that would wrap into this because with any of these reliefs like this i would uh i would almost expect unless that dude that that giant demon thing that they had summoned is a dragon of sorts i mean when you look at it biblically yeah the dragons are not exactly the nice guys so Anywho, thanks for joining me on this playthrough. Check out some of other some of the other games by Max Horror on itch.io. This was a very well executed game for as short as it was and the limited resources. I very much enjoy the atmosphere, the music, the little sound bites here and there that kind of make you go, hmm, do I risk it or not? But it's it's fairly safe to play as long as you're not, you know being too terribly kamikaze about it. So, anywho, that was my playthrough. I will see you on the next one.